Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. What are we doing today? Well, <clears throat> I recorded a video yesterday where I said for the next coming week some stuff to expect in May. Uh, and one of those, the first thing I said was the 25 million download campaign. And then I gave my assumption of when that day would be come in, uh, which would have been, I my guess, <laughs> was on May 2nd and so they decided that that's actually not happening and it's going to be happening on the 26th. <laughs> Someone pointed out to me in the comments that um, there was maintenance, there's going to be maintenance on Friday. So the, expect the 20 million download campaign Friday, sir. And so I, I'll just say again, xria7466, you were 100% right. I didn't even notice that there was a maintenance thing there, maybe just because I was crazy grinding QP for all my new servants that I had gotten, but either way, I did not notice the maintenance detail. So that was my bad. So let's actually go over what's going to happen in the 20 million download campaign. Now that I've given that, let's go right into it. So, 20 million download campaign. We actually have the confirmed dates. It's going to happen from the f uh, 26th up until the 2nd of May. So, I actually will end before the Bunyan event itself ends, which makes sense because, like I said, anniversary is going to be coming up, so they have to make room for a lot of stuff in not a lot of time. So, some stuff will be moved ahead much faster than you would assume it would be. Um, this also says that it will be on the 26th at 1, so that makes me feel like that's actually going to happen on the 25th. Because on my time zone, what's likely going to happen is that the game's going to enter maintenance on the 25th, and then when it exit out of it, that's when the 20 million download campaign is going to be up. That seems the most likely to me. Uh, actually, I can actually just go into Fago right now and look and see if this maintenance thing... I don't see a maintenance thing on here. Hmm, must have been on the Twitter or something. Alright, let me pause real quick. Well, can't find it. So just assume that the maintenance is going to happen at some point before this. So probably on the 25th <laughs> is when it's going to happen. I literally can't find anything about it. So I'm going to assume it's going to happen on the 25th. And then it will exit on the 26th for me. And then that's when the campaign will start. Unless I'm just wrong about this one as well. We'll see, huh? Um... The, these are a list of some of the things that you'll be on it. You'll get a ticket to, clear, to claim an, ex, an SR servant. There'll be 68 eligible servants and 47 eligible SR craft essences. You'll get a ticket to get both of them. Uh, but the SR craft essence will show up first and then it will be the servant one. And then they'll also introduce a new item which is the bronze saplings. And then there's a bunch of other stuff that they're going to go down into down below. So part for part one, they start, it's funny because they start with the servant one, but the servant one comes later, but they understand that people care more about the servant one than they care about the other one. <laughs> uh, so let me just read it right here. Log in during the period below to receive one of the 20 million download celebration tickets servant exchangeable for one of the 68 eligible four star SR servants. 20 million celebration tickets servant distribution period. It's from the 26th from when the maintenance ends until the 2nd of May. Um, the Da Vinci Workshop exchange requirement is that you have to have cleared Singularity F, Flame Containment City Fuyuki, um, by the 4th to actually exchange it, so you'll get the ticket, but you won't be able to exchange it until you beat that Singularity. Uh, and then the actual exchange period for the Servant for when it starts is going to be on the 27th, it's not actually the day of the event. Uh, that's the SR Craft Essence, you actually have to wait just a little bit longer if you want to do it. How to exchange it, claim 20 million download celebration tickets from your present box, enter the exchange event items within the Da Vinci Workshop, tap the applicable banner, and then choose one of the servants and claim it from your present box. It's just that easy. The ticket must be claimed before the end of the distribution period specified above. Please note that the 20 million celebration ticket servant distribution period and exchange period will differ. Once you complete the exchange, the selected 4 star servant will be sent to your present box and 20 million celebration ticket servant will disappear. A 20 million download celebration ticket servant will disappear at the end of the exchange period even if you have not used it. Please note that if you have not fulfilled the eligible requirements in exchange, you will not be able to use the ticket. Boom. Uh, now about limited servants, limited time ser uh, servants and servants distributed as an event, limited rewards will not be available for exchange. 
um, Altria Pendragon, Alter Saber, Gawain, Nero Claudius, Bardigist, Yagyu, Taijume, No Kami, Mon Monori, that's his full name, uh, as, as Vatamon, the Angry Man, Emia, Alter, Tristan, Babo Sif, or Tamlin Tristan, however you want to call her, Altria Pendragon, Lancer, Alter, Kainus, Lancer, Li Shu Wen, Lancer, Queen of Sheba, Master of Midrash, Thomas Edison, Medea Lily, Kagto, the Black Kite Dunzo, the Yume, Yume Ren, Assassin, and Gorgon will be available for exchange even if you have not been added to the story, summoning through story progression. Please note that the Stage 3 Ascension for Bargus, Tomlin, Gaiwen, and Babo Sif contains spoilers for Lost Belt number 6, the Fey Round Table Domain Avalon Le Fey, the moment the planet is born. In terms of the full servant list, <laughs> we got for Sabres, uh, Saber Altar, I'll just say them all again, Saber Altar, Bargus, Dion, Dirnmood, Gaiwin, Lakshimbe, Lancelot, Nero Claudius, Prince of Long Ling, Rama, Siegfried, Suzuki Gozen, Watanabe, Nosuna, Yagyu, Tama no Kami, Minori, and then on Archer we got the Angry Man, Atalanta, Babo Sif, Shiron, uh, there was a Chiron? No, it's, it, I think I've had this conversation before. Emiya, <laughs> Emiya Alter, Tamagoizen, the Archer of Inferno, as she's also known as, Tristan, Zenobia, Altria Pendragon Altar, which is the Lancer Altar Saber, uh, Kynes, uh, Eliz, Afian McCool, Li Shuen, Medusa, Neza, Parvati, Percival, Quinling Yu, Valkyrie, Vlad III, the extra version, that's Lancer. Writer is Anne Bonnie and Mary Reed, Astolfo, Dobrynia, Nikic, Marie Antoinette, and Martha are writer. Caster, we have Cersei, Gilgamesh, Helena, Medea Lily, Nidocris, Nursery Rhyme, Queen of Sheba, Thomas Edison, that's all casters. Carmilla, uh, for assassins, it's Carmilla, Emia, Kaito, Black Kite, Donzo, Chiyohime. Steno, Wu Zetan, uh, Assassin of the Nightless City, and Yang Quinn, or the Assassin of the Shinjuku, Yume Ren, and now Berserkers, and Atlanta Alter, Beowulf, Frankenstein, Heracles, Ibaraki Doji, Lancelot, Penistilia, the Berserker of El Dorado, Tamamo Cats, and then finally, for the last extra classes, we have Ruler Austria, Avenger Gorgon, uh, Heisin Lobo, the Avenger of Shinjuku, and the only pretender currently in the game for NA, Hephaestion, will also be selectable. <sighs> The name display for Bargus will change to Tomlin Gawain to Bargus to stay on stage to Ascension, and the same thing goes with Babo Sif, uh, going from Tamlin Tristan to Babo Sif, or ba Babahan Sith is how her actual name is supposed to be pronounced, but I say it similar to Babu Frick. Uh, part 2, the $20 million celebration ticket, the craft essence, exchangeable for one eligible uh, four-star craft essence of your choice. There are 47 of these all masks for craft essences that can be attained after clearing each chapter of part two only the craft essence from chapters that have been cleared will be eligible for exchange so if you want to get the lost belt craft essences you have to actually have beaten the lost belt to be able to exchange for them um 20 million uh, download celebration ticket craft essence distribution period it will happen right when the event starts on the 26th and it'll go into the second when you can actually, uh, the exchange, what you need to do is clear Singularity F, and then the actual uh, exchange period is like I mentioned, from the start of the event, and then you have until the end of the event to actually use it. Similar to Servant, you just click one of these and then you go. Uh, you don't need me to name every single one of these. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of them, and not a lot of them are good, so pick the one that you want the most. I already have a vast majority of these max limit broken already, um, so I need. To, I would personally pick something that's of the newer variety, but that's just me. So kind of look over these and talk about it. I'll probably will do a video talking about them a little bit more in depth if you want that. But really, the, my, my answer will always boil down to, yo, just straight up. Just pick pick this one, pick the imaginary element, and if you already have it max limit broken, pick one of the new ones that are kind of been a pain in the ass to get. 
like with this one that is max the the same version winter winter crystal i think i don't have winter crystal done yet so i'd probably get winter crystal or probably i do have it done already if you do enough summons over the years you will eventually get all these four stars even if it is nice now you want to talk about actual hard to get four star craft essences it's the ones from the lost belt so you can get the ones from Lost Belt 1 through 6, and it's nice of them to have actually covered them up. You'll get a Lost Belt 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Part 1, 5, Part 2, 5.5, 5, and then finally 6. So if you're actually trying to get the max limit break on one of these, it probably would be helpful to get one of those. Otherwise, it's up to you if you want to choose one of these. Um, I probably wouldn't choose one of these because I'm never going to be actually summoning on Story Servant to get more of these craft essences. And one is enough for me. I don't really use them for effectiveness. I use them more as a memento of remembering the Lost Belt, which is, I feel, what they're supposed to actually be uh, representative of. And to avoid spoilers, they're not going to show you the names and illustrations of the craft essences. They aren't going to do that with servant names because they've learned to give up. A present of 30 St. Quartz for five for 50,000 total reactions and the claim one of the four star servant and craft essences of your choice official posts. Uh, if you can get the claim one four star servant and craft essence of your choice campaign posts on the fake Grand Order official Twitter and Facebook to 50,000 combined total reactions during the period below, we'll distribute 30 St. Quartz before for a total of a maximum of 11 St. Quartz summons to all masters. Worth a maximum of 11 St. Quartz summons applies to the case that all rewards are used in the same St. Quartz summon. <laughs> Campaign period. This lasts until the 25th to the 30th of uh, April. Plan distribution date, meaning if this actually works out, you'll get this on the 30th. Um, eligibility. All masters can get this. We just need to reach it. 30 St. Quartz. 5,000 reaction. 50,000 reaction easy enough 5,000 would have been insane that would have been crazy easy to get but no the 50,000 reaction not not that hard well probably I don't know I I think we have plenty of bots on Facebook I'm pretty sure there's dudes dedicated to botting the Facebook to get us there if we do not get it there but literally this should be so easy to get because you're literally getting a free um SR <laughs> And sometimes SRs are as annoying to get as SSRs, so you shouldn't worry too much. But, you know, just in case, check on it if it looks like it's lagging behind. Next part, 20 million download campaign, special cons consecutive login bonus plus special accrued login bonus. Uh, this is just going to be the login bonus for when you log in. So, for special consecutive login bonuses, day one, Hellfire of Wisdom, all five, uh, five star SSR, so five star SSR of EXP. You'll get 10 of those. Silver fruits, 10. 10 million QP. Golden fruits, time 10. Um, foes of three foes of the attack and HP variety. You'll get HP first and then attack uh, 10 each. And then finally, on day 7, you'll get uh, 10 summon tickets, which is the equivalent of a maximum of 11 St. Quartz summons if you use the ball at the same time. If you use them at separate times, and that obviously would just equal 10, and that's it. Special accrued login bonus. Uh, the first time you log in, 200 mana prisms, and then one um, four star foe of HP, and then the four star foe of attack is on the next day, and then a rare mana prism, and then a crystallized lore on the fifth day. And that's it for the login bonuses. Part five, the limited missions for advancing the main story uh, added, limited time. You just gotta clear some quests from this and it shouldn't be that much of a problem. So just advance a main quest node in part one or two and you'll get a St. Quartz and, five, and 10 of the SSR EXP. Do it again, do, do another one and you'll get another St. Quartz and this time 60 Mana Prisms. Do it again, get another St. Quartz, get 10 more of the 5 EXP. Do it again, this time 2 St. Quartz and 60 Mana Prisms. Do it again, this time 2 St. Quartz and again 10 EXP of 5-star uh, variety. Do it again, 2 more St. Quartz and 60 Mana Prisms. And then finally do it one last time for a total of 7 main quest nodes. Get a rare Mana Prism. Each mission cannot be completed once its mission period has ended. Please note that the pseudo singularity 1 through uh, 4 and main interludes will not count towards the mission progress. If you have already cleared all main quests in part 1 and part 2, the mission will be counted as completed automatically, and then the missions are separate from the weekly master missions. There you go. Easy enough. So if you're already caught up in the story, 
don't worry about it. You just get <laughs> you just get all the rewards and not have to worry about it. New items, the bronze saplings used for conserving excessive AP is now available. Uh, this is a new item, um, which I, if you watched the video I did yesterday, I was very confused and then had to do an edit where I actually talked about it. But here, I'll talk about it here. <laughs> the new item, the bronze sapling, is available, which can be used together for a portion of your AP to make the AP recoverable item bronze uh, cobalt fruit. Masters can expend one bronze sapling for 40 AP to create item bronze cobalt fruits which can be used to restore 40 AP at the time. By converting your AP that is recovered to the maximum amount, the bronze cobalt fruit, you can effectively utilize your AP's natural recovery function as well as use br a bronze cobalt fruit when you don't have enough AP. Use AP, AP more effectively by utilizing bronze saplings. Bronze saplings can be obtained as progress rewards for the main quest. And then basically what it means is that when you log in, especially if you've already completed it, once you're gonna be completing missions, as you're completing missions, you're going to get bronze saplings, which you can then use 40 of your own AP to create a cobalt fruit, which is worth 40 AP, and you can use it for later. So if you don't have time to grind or do something now, you can then exchange those bronze saplings into fruit that you can use for maybe a later time, like a lotto event of some kind. If you've already completed a bunch of um, missions, then you're just going to get a buttload of them. <laughs> right when the game starts so again don't worry if you're already caught up they'll give you all this and then you can start putting your excess ap into them and go not that difficult um at the start everyone will get three bronze saplings and then there will be outside of the three bronze saplings um you'll get presents based off of your current progression of stuff that you've done i think the total it was was thirteen thousand or 1300 of them if you've completed everything so expect that much if you've completed everything next or hopefully about that much it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's over a thousand if you've completed everything you'll have plenty to save up for future lotto days or for future uh, rainy days or something like that next part two times chance of super and great suck of servants and craft essences limited time that goes without saying. And then this also goes to the next part, which is all day's ember gathering and training grounds. Quest unlocked. That just means that they're going to be all day unlocked. Easy enough to remember. Um, quest information for limited time ember gathering and training grounds. We carried over to the quest following. It's fine. It's whatever. Uh, finally, a new interlude for Percival added. So Percival will get an interlude. Like I've uh, said in yesterday's video, he'll be there. It'll be worth two Saint Quartz. Easy enough. Just clear Lost Belt 3 to actually get access to it. Achieve Stage 3 of Ascension and get Bond Level 5. And those two Saint Quartz are yours along with some kind of story of some kind. About normal interlude unlock requirements. The quest will not appear if you do not own Percival. They just, I guess, throw that up just in case you don't know. And then finally, uh, not not finally, part 10, they're going to be adding uh, free seating, which is the next exchange rare uh, prisms. No, a new item added to exchange rare mana prisms to the Da Vinci Workshop. Uh, to celebrate the 20 million download campaign, free seating mana prisms exchange can be permanently added to exchange rare, uh, rare prisms to the Da Vinci Workshop. Free seating mana prism exchange is an item that includes 5 SR free seating with the exchange mana period each actual exchange will cost 1000 mana prisms i thought this was a brand new one i was wrong this is one that's appearing in the rare mana with the rare prisms which means it's an old one that is coming back around i could not remember if free seating had already come out or not so that was a my bad on that one to be fair no one corrected me on that one so it's fine and then a spiriton dress um a key unlock for gene the arc altar avenger added to the dressmaking in the da vinci workshop so you'll be able to get the shinjuku outfit for gene and just unlock it and get access to it if you've already paid fair five rare mana prisms for it they will give it back to you if after you beat uh shinjuku You'll just get this for free, you'll get them back, assuming that you already bought it. I assume anyone who likes Gene bought this the second it became available if they did not already have it. So you'll get a refund of it if you, uh, if you did that. So, easy enough. Uh, this does not come with a Noble Phantasm change, because that just literally happened on JP. So they're not going to give her an animation update now. You will continue having to wait for two years <laughs> to get that from her. Um, part 12, Servant and Craft Essence Inventory Expanded. Expand the second archive of servants by uh, 20. Um, 
maximum exchange to the other one goes from 900 to 1000, 100 slots added. So this is the main one. Expanded second archive CEs goes from 160 to 180, 20 times added, and then it goes from um, 900 to 1000, 100 slots added. So there you go. Second Archive Expansion Servants and Second Archive Expansion CE will require you to spend 50 mana presents for each time you want to expand them. Easy enough to do. Easy enough. I always buy these immediately the second they become available because I need all the space that I can handle. Maximum number of follows allowed uh, extended to 10 so now more people can follow you if enough people have followed you. Servants Summonable and the Tutorial Summon have been updated. The lineup of summonable servants has been updated, so when you start the game, one of these dudes will show up for you to help out new players. Well, some of them are here to help out new players, and others are to teach them what it means, the value of how good of an SR <laughs> there is. For Saber, it's Lakshimba Bay and uh, Watanabe no Suna. For Archer, it's Emiya and Zenobia. For Lancer, you can get Liz or Valkyrie. For Ryder, it's Astolfo or Nikich. For Caster, it's Cersei or Nidocris. For Assassin, it's Theno or Yang, and for Berserker, it's Heracles or Tamamo Cat. Um, although a lot of these are pretty good uh, choices, some of them are weaker than others. I believe a lot of people kind of look down on Nikitch, but I think Nikitch looks cool, so I give her a pass. Uh, the unit that I think uh, it doesn't look cool and doesn't get a pass unless she's in her idol costume is Theno, because I think I can't believe they continue to add Steno. They had so many chances to get rid of Steno from this tutorial summon. <laughs> She's maybe the one bummer. I really do think you can work with every other servant here in some kind of way. Even Yang, even though Yang requires a little bit of his uh, strength things to be maybe a little bit more useful. But I think in the early goings you could probably make some use of him. But Steno's the only one where I'm just like, that's just to teach you the values of a servant at some point. <laughs> it's not very good. But I digress. I don't mean to hurt any Steno fans, by the way, if you're out there loving Steno. And finally, the things that will be added as well will be Castoria Banner, which will be here until the second. So that means that 30 cent quartz that we get from potentially this all the way up here. Uh, they'll distribute it on the 30 April 30th, so that means you'll still have a chance to get Castoria. And then th this other banner, which features a whole buttload of servants on it. Um, Miss Crane, Jean, Yang, Shutin, Jacques de Molay, and Cleopatra, with Miss, uh, Miss Crane being the first servant on the 26th, and then Jean being the next day, and then it's Yang, and then it is Shutin, and then it is Jacques, and then it is Cleo to end it all. Um, very fitting that Cleo's the one to end it all. And, yeah, that's, those are the servants. If you care about those servants, you know whether or not you're going to be summoning for them. I'll probably do a video talking about all of them in one go, maybe, or maybe I'll keep the format. I kind of like the current format I do, where I kind of just, like, release it on the day of. <laughs> whether or not I'm actually able to record all those videos, we'll see. But they shouldn't be that hard when it's just a single servant on each one. But that's the 20 million download campaign, everyone. It's not coming in uh in may it's coming in april <laughs> i still can't believe i got that wrong but you know what it's fine <laughs> there was a moment when i woke up and i read that comment i said oh shit he's right he's gonna be 100 percent right so i waited until 9 p.m to actually record a fago video i was originally setting it up to do a completely different kind of fago thing today and then I saw the 20 million download campaign was coming up, and I said, well, that's what I'm talking about today, then. And I'm going to have to hold off what I was planning off for next time. <laughs> ah, boy. Fun times. Fun times. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much if you made it all the way to the end here. I've attempted to do something different with the audio, so if you made it this far, if you notice something weird about it, feel free to tell me about it, because I'm still testing stuff. Uh, best of luck to you if you end up going for Castoria. I'll pr if you need to know whether I really don't think, and I think at this point I've talked about Castoria banners at least as four different times since she's been released, but I will do another one closer to her release to say like, hey, 
here's the current evaluation of all these servants. Is Castoria as good as the last time I talked about her about like seven months ago? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, she's probably gotten better over time, to be honest. And I'll do a bunch of other talk too. There will be a bunch of Fago videos coming out because thankfully I'm in a little bit of a... A slight slowdown at work. Not slight because there's gonna be crazy ass days for me. But now they're more like two packed in a couple days and then like it's not every single day I'm like on constant red alert and red alert and stuff like that. At least not yet. Knock on wood. But anyway, that's the end of the video everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>